Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. This is Shade, and last time we got fried by a dragon and we were trying to fight that behemoth over there. You can probably see his tentacles over there in the background, but we're going to go fight him. But first I'm going to take a better look at our fighting ground considering how awkward it is. Like, um, the fight overall is pretty awkward if you think about it. He doesn't fight you until you actively attack him and it traps you in there. Meaning that there's something to this boss. Like, if you look over here, the ledge is over a really deep pit. And he stands off to his side, so... I wonder if I can run back to the um, fog door and just snipe him with my trusty crossbow until he dies. But I need to do something to get him to chase me. I don't think normal aggro will work. Honestly, because he seems to be guarding something. Uh, me and my logic. I don't understand it myself, but it works for me. Alrighty. So, let's get our Estus flasks out and get ready to run like a mofo. Oh yeah, we also want to pick up our Humanities and Souls. But, yeah, here's basically the plan. I'm going to grab the shiny, run through that little cave there, and then run all the way back to the fog door, and then proceed to snipe it with my arrows. I keep forgetting how ugly this guy really is. Oh my, just, just look at his face. Ah, gross. Alrighty. I'm pretty sure as soon as I take this, he's going to get pissed. Yep, yep, he got pissed. Alright, just run. Just run, Shade. Just run. Alright. Hopefully Ugly is following us, but I don't know. Run, Shade. Run. Okay, we should be near the bottomless pit. Oh god, he's following us. Okay. Oh! I wanna s- No, no. Get that shit away from me. And... What? We killed him? Anticlimactic. Like, really? And now it looks like we can actually explore the place. We. Oui. And he didn't drop any souls. Oh, there's the souls. Hmm. This armor is getting. I don't think the armor, our armor, will help us much from this point on. So, yeah, I think it might be in my best interest to see if there's any armor merchants at, at Firelink. I'll be back here when I get said armor. Till then. And I'm back! As you can see, I got a new set of armor from this weird guy that was on a bridge. And it turns out to be Ornstein's set, in case you don't remember the, one of the two that gave us such a hard time a while, not too long ago. So yeah, I'm wearing his armor, and I couldn't afford the helmet, and I looked derpy with the hood, so I decided to just go helmetless. And I can still roll pretty fast. So yeah. But... 
It actually looks pretty cool. So anyways, let's venture into hell. I like the clunky sound it makes. I might have to switch over to the um, our old thief armor from time to time, but you never know. Is this even safe? Um, yeah, it's safe. Puts me on edge, but it's safe. That used to be scary, but not anymore. That's good. That's a good sign. Please tell me this isn't going to be another honor with Ondo with freaking everything trying to kill me while I'm on a catwalk. Souls. Huh. And the game's giving us a lot of souls. That's for sure. Alrighty. Here's what I'm gonna do with these guys. The last one seemed to not like fire too much, so what nah, not that. I want my um hey wait, right. I don't even have any of my pirate music up. So I'm just going to get my um lovely little Fury sword going on then. Where is it? There it is. And let's see. What else do we have on in here? Yeah. Alrighty. Let's see if we can just bring one of them. Maybe I should hit one of them with magic. Considering they're just standing there. First catalyst. There we go, that got him. but not too tough. They definitely beat the hell out of those stupid set. Alright. 
Okay, you still can't block that. And that. Sorry, I underestimated you. Okay. Even though they are significantly easier to kill, treat them with respect. What the hell? Oh god, this isn't going to end well for me, is it? What the hell is that? Did I really lose my souls to that? Because... Ah, uh, what the hell? That was bull crap. Ah, great, I didn't even friggin' frig. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, I'll be back, and I'm back. After that, I don't know what the hell happened. I'm not even sure if I should count that cause. Well, first off, I don't even have Xbox Live yet. The thing that invaded me the second time was an actual player. So how that happened, I don't know. And the spear seems to be very effective against me. I like this lightning spear. It's all right. Probably more health. Oh god, is that a bouncing potato? Yes, that is a bouncing potato. No. Piss off. Piss off. And it just died in one hit. Alrighty. That's weird. Now there's weird potato things trying to kill. Ooh, what's here? Soul of a proud knight. Thank you. Is what in the 
fresh heck is that? Uh. Are you going to come to life? No. Nope. Okay, last time I attacked something that was clinging to a wall, I died a horrible death. So I am just going to use some heavy soul arrows on him. Until he dies. This may take a while, folks. This may take a while. Or not. And here's a bonfire. Amazing. Let's see. Humanity. Need boss. Soul of a proud knight. Awesome. Okay, we're going to... Let's see. Do I have the warp here? I don't know. But... Let's continue on. Okay, now let's level up first. Our faith is lacking really badly, but I don't think we need it much right now. So I just want to put something into strength because, well, I think we're going to need some heavier weapons soon. Like, I think, like, right now we're using a pointed stick. And, um, not sure how much longer it will be effective. Like, I'm sure all weapons are effective in some ways, but. I would like to have a little backup plan in case it doesn't work. <clears throat> Alright, bouncing potato. Oh, you can fire. And apparently suck at everything you do. Alright, these guys. Not too scary. They suck. There's just a lot of them. Alrighty. If I remember anything, so we can back. easily now. Oh shit. No. no. I know I I know what you are. Alrighty. Let's take care of you like we destroyed your friend. Just by spamming magic from distance you can't hit us from. You're just going to sit there and take it until you die. Like that.
seriously, could those enemies suck anymore? They're freaking hovering potatoes. The range is totally crap, and they have the wind-up time of a century. Yeah. I'm going to just keep my crossbow, because it's actually become a favorite of mine. Door. I'm not sure if we should go through it or not. Eh, what's the worst that could happen? Hmm. I can't... I don't like that message. Alright, let's go through here and see what's... This way. Definitely quite different from the hell that we just came from. Ah. And great, we're navigating tree roots now. Is it bad? Is it okay that this place gives me the creeps? I mean... We were just from hell, in hell, and now this place. these things. They're little grasshoppers. Huh. Triple kill. these things? Probably not. But there is a dead end, rather intricate looking door. I'll figure out what it's to later. Let's see what's over here real quick. Apparently, there's a boss behind that fog door, and I don't think we could take another boss at this point. I mean, we've, what, only killed two in the past... We killed, like, two bosses really quickly, and uh, throw another one at us. It could either be really easy or really hard. He cast her. And judging by these messages, what's up ahead isn't very nice at all. Oh joy, I piss 
up that car is human. Alrighty, we can kill him. Is he stuck on the wall or something? I'm gonna kill you, then I'm gonna end the episode. There we go. This has been Shane. If you enjoyed this, please um, like, subscribe, and check out the other channels on our other channels, other videos on our channel. The other people who upload uh, do some pretty cool things as well. And next time, we will continue to explore this. Hell, where Taurus demons abound. Later.